Now this won't affect us in this class very much at all, but moving forward to your other classes and your careers, there may be some confusion about what is the difference between the regular fonts you use, called desktop fonts, and fonts on the web, web fonts. Duh. Well, there's a big difference. They are not the same thing at all, and they are not interchangeable at all. So if you were doing a print piece for a client and a website for a client, even if they used the same typefaces, you would need to purchase two different font packages, one for use on the desktop and print and one for use on the web. So let me just walk through some of the key differences. So the first point I want to make is, is that desktop fonts are designed for use in print materials. So it's installed on your computer and then you have access to it in all the local files on your computer. You then have the ability to print from those files and that's what the font is licensed for. On the website, it doesn't work that way at all. The design of the font is actually going to be very different some of the times to allow for the fact that the copy is being read on a screen. And so you need to allow for it to be very small, like on a phone, on a low-res monitor, all types of different things. And so even if it's the same typeface, the design between a desktop font and a web font can be significantly different. A really big difference is that when you're using web fonts, this does not exist on the user's computer. This exists on a remote server. So when somebody visits a web page, their browser has to access a web server, which will serve them the files that are in the website. And one of the files they will be serving is a web font file. So it is not locally installed. It's remotely installed with the other web files. Web fonts are not licensed for use on a desktop. They are licensed for use on web pages or ebooks. If you misuse the fonts, use one for the other, then uh, even beyond the technical difficulties of that, you would be violating the license that you agreed to when you purchased the font. And then finally, they are just very different from each other in terms of the formats. Most desktop fonts uh, use OpenType or TrueType. And then the current standard for web fonts is what's called WAF. And then they follow a format of that WAF too. So that's it for this brief overview. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, uh, we aren't going to really be dealing with web fonts here in this COM317 class. Oh, but if you move forward in your career, chances are you're going to be involved with the internet. If you want to learn how to use these, then I encourage you to take the uh, COM380 interactive media class taught by moi. Oh, oh. And uh, you can actually start to utilize them. It's uh, pretty fun. Oh.